What is going on guys and welcome back to another video and of course welcome to this midweek video. Now today we are back in for back. We are going to start off on bent over rows today, no deadlifts as such. We are going to do block pulls at the end of the session but of course it's not really a deadlift so it's more so a kind of rack pull but it's not a rack pull, it's a block pull. We are going to pull off and maybe only something like one to two inches today so it's going to be very very close to a deadlift. But of course it's going to be a block pull so we're not going to be doing any sort of pulling from the floor today. But yeah, I am going to take you through a couple of moves that I do believe is key when it comes to building density from the rear. So obviously once it is time to turn to the rear and hit that back double bicep shot, that back lat spread shot, that is really when you do get to see who is really into the basics and who is more so into a chest supported row or something that's not so hard what you can see i mean you can still take these sets all out guys but when it does really come to building density you do realize that the key is the big moves the key is pulling from the floor the key is barbell rows t-bar rows rack pulls you know the, the big the really hard things the really sore things the, the, the things that cause so much pain that is like the worst thing ever but it is so true so we are going to start off in bent over rows today guys this is one of the biggest moves that definitely is one to not neglect when it does come to building density of course so we are going to start on these and like i said we're going to finish on block pulls i am going to do some non-supported rows today so obviously close grip rows nothing's going to be chest supported today and um, we are going to do pull downs we're going to do arms as well but yeah i just wanted to really come on here guys and say that the biggest thing is the key whenever it comes to building that dense tissue is the hardest moves guys the compound moves that the moves everybody likes to skip and I don't know, like I've been brought up with these sort of moves, I've been brought up with not so much kit, more so your basics, your barbells, your dumbbells. Like none of the fancy kit that you get access to these days, now don't get me wrong, if I had access to this kit I would 100% use it, but I definitely still wouldn't neglect the basics. This is what's built my physique, what I've got today, so yes, without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video. If you do enjoy it, don't forget to drop the video a like for me guys, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and let's get on with these bent over rows. Right guys, so just while I'm on the subject of bent over rows, what I want you to do as well is I want you to try your hardest to stay built on a move like this. Maybe not when it comes to pulling from the floor, like I would definitely recommend doing it built as well, but at the same time, I have no problem with using a belt. It's just the main aim obviously with us being bodybuilders is we are looking to pretty much apply the most pressure on the erectors when we are pulling from the floor. Like that's where the dense tissue is, that's where we are wanting to absolutely destroy the most so if you can stay beltless for the majority of your sets maybe even for a back off set if you need to stick the belt on for that set then fair enough but try your hardest just the most especially on a bent over row try to stay beltless as much as possible and then if you do start to fatigue that bit much and you feel maybe i might need a belt on for this set that is totally fine but i would definitely recommend for the majority of your sets to apply the most pressure on the erectors which is what we are wanting then i would definitely recommend to stay beltless <coughs>
so that is the majority of the back done. We're now going to move on to block pulls, like I said. We're only going to be pulling off maybe between two and three inches, I believe it is going to be. We're not going to put any of the extra boxes underneath it to make it higher. We're literally just going to go with the stepper box itself, the top of it, and that's going to be it. So we're going to see what we can take today. I have got between kind of three and six reps with 260 in my head. Of course, we are going to control the eccentric a lot more and we are going to do dead stops. So we're going to see what's there. I will also take a back offset, just depending on what my top set is going to be, will determine the back offset as well. I am feeling okay going into this, doing it last, but of course, I have just hit back. Of course, I'm going to be fatigued. I'm not expecting anything huge. We are going to take a decent set. So yeah, that is really going to be it. Back is pretty much done, of course. We've just got this to go and then it'll be time for food, rapid recovery time. Again guys, throughout prep, it goes in post-workout every single day and off-season post-workout every single day. So nothing really does change, just a little bit of variety in my food and that's really it. But like I said, this is going to be quite a random vlog because I didn't really have anything planned for this midweek video. So I'm just going to kind of go with it, fill in my day, whatever happens. You also need to wash the car because it is in an absolute state as you would have seen. But I don't want to ramble any more than now. My head is in the game for these block pulls. So yeah, let's just get on with them. Oh, okay. Come on, Ken. Come on. And here we go. We've got post post workout meal because I have just had my rapid recovery shake as you would have just seen. We are going in with a big fat steak. You're also going in with 100 grams of uncooked rice. Quite a lot. So remember it is uncooked. And we've also got broccoli. We are going to stick some of this honey barbecue over the steak, the rice to give it a little bit more flavor. Mainly the rice because it is just plain basmati rice. We are also going to put some Himalayan salt on it because if you are a bodybuilder and you don't put Himalayan salt on 99% of your meals or even a bodybuilder we also have some water but calories and macros for this meal will be on the screen right about now I am gonna get tucked into this because I'm starving but yeah this is just gonna be my post post workout meal today so usually what I have been doing is I've been rotating between sweet potato and white potato with my steak so I'm literally just going with that's my rice tonight because the night before I've had white potato and sweet potato. Just literally been going between the three just to kind of keep a bit of variety in. So yeah, most of my other meals sweet potato, of course. Not going to show you guys like a full day of eating today, just like the kind of odd meals. Like I said, it's going to be quite a random vlog. Was a successful session today, no complaints taken. We did take 264.6 in my 
top set for block pulls and 224.8 in my back off again for the end of the session i'm going to take that but before this does get cold and goes all disgusting i'm going to get tucked into it so yeah so on this first always make some mess that might as well just ruin the whole meal Another thing that I've started doing is I have actually started putting the barbecue sauce over the steak like I was having it with nothing and don't get me wrong it was like there was no problem with it but I'm not really one for putting sauces over my meals anyway so yeah I have been starting to put the barbecue sauce over the steak which again is a game changer and if I'm having even chips like probably not sweet potato I don't really like sweet potato with sauce on it white potato yeah rice yes but that's really it but like I said I don't have much food left for the rest of the day. I believe I am going to have scrambled eggs and bagels, which that'll be pretty boring. That's going to be it anyway. I am going to have an AGF shake as well. Of course, pre-bed every single night. Yeah, it's the same and my basic drink from HR Labs. That's going to be it guys, I am probably just going to wrap this video up right here. The main thing that I did want to cover in this video was obviously how to build that thick density from the rear. So most of that was covered in today's session. Again, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed it, then please don't forget to drop the video a like guys. Subscribe to the channel if you are new because we are still growing and we're actually on the road to 4,000 subscribers. Like we are very short of 4,000 subscribers. So that would be quite a big milestone to hit. Again, it's poverty to quite a lot of people, but for me, it is... We're growing guys we are growing that's the biggest thing so don't forget to smash that subscribe button if you are new about here and i will just see you guys in the next video